Your Excellency. How are you? Good. Nice to see you in person. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> Good morning from Suriname, a country in South America. And I've been here for the past three days and the love has been amazing. I mean, super amazing. I never knew I got so much love in here. I'm even thinking of extending my days deep based on the emails that I've been receiving, based on the kind of messages that I've been receiving. Like I had no idea that the diaspora watched me like that. Like I have no single idea. And we got an invitation to meet the vice president of the country who is also an African descendant. And I'm like, who am I to say no to the vice president? So we're actually on our way to go meet the vice president right now. A big shout out to um, Shada. Um, she has been amazing. Oh my goodness. Why is it opening? A big shout out to Shaza. She has been amazing making sure that. Oh, our driver for today is a woman. Yes. My goodness. Hi. Hola. Hola. Como esta? Bang. Oh, Tutu Bang. Well, you speak Portuguese rather. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Just come along with us. Uh, we're gonna update you as time goes on. So stick and stay and enjoy the vlog. But don't forget to like this video now. Thank you. Good, nice to see you in person. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. So you have a seat here and then I'm gonna sit. Wow. Okay, welcome. Thank you. My office. Thank you. And uh, you stay in Sudan? Yeah, I've been here for the past three days and I'm enjoying it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you talk with um, Mr. Uh, Dundas? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He told me about you. Yeah. Okay. What can I do for you? Excellency, I, I'm here because um, I want to bridge the gap between Africans and um, Africans living in the diaspora. I'm just a young man who woke up one day and decided to connect the dots because I felt like we living in Africa don't know uh, the Africans living on the other side. So I decided to go on this journey, get to learn about the people, get to see them, get to speak to them, and also get to know a bit about the history of how it all started and how it all happened. So that's brought me to um, Suriname. And when I was doing research, I found that the vice president of the country, you know, it's an African too, like me. So I was so proud, I, I felt so proud. So I requested, is it possible to meet him, shake his hands and uh, yeah, get to tell Africans that the vice president of Suriname is also an African, yeah. Yes, you're very welcome. I have the same idea you have um, from um, my youth, yes. Mm. I think about Africa because of uh, my mother told me the story how uh, my people is coming here in Suriname. Wow. They said, no, they come from Africa. And uh, they don't come like this, they, they like you come. Yeah. They, they, they uh, bring them here, make them slave. And my uh, grandfather, Mm. This generation, they don't want to be slave. 
Exactly. And so they fled to the to the to the horse the interior, hmm. far in the in, in the jungle. And so they build their life there, so they have a community there, hmm. and so they fight against the the Bonya Sator and so they fight, they fight and one day they okay. free. And so um, we are from uh, the Maroon, they call us Maroon, mm -hmm. but we know the roots is Africa. Exactly. And uh, I think uh, we are now free and on the 264 years ago. And n nobody, mm -hmm. the African fled to the, to the jungle, okay. mm -hmm. never know that they will come and take place in the government. Hmm. And so this has happened now uh, after 200 and something years. The, can, yes. can, I, can I ask, that? does it mean that you, you're the first ever African to hold this position in the country? Yes, and all the time. Yeah. And this is the first time the Maroon have this position. Wow. It's the first time. So the first, yeah. how, how, how does that make you feel? Oh, it's feel, it's feel great because uh, we never think that we will come on this level. Nobody um, uh, dream about this and one day it's happened. Yeah. Wow. And also, uh, you have the government itself, you have the parliament. Hmm. And the parliament is also at the same time we have uh, a maroon, is chairman of the parliament and I am the vice president because we have two powerful positions in the country now. Mm -hmm. And we have also seven ministers. Mm. That's that's and amazing. Now, with the idea you come to, to 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 look on the diaspora brothers and sisters. Yeah. It's the same idea I have. And you know I'm uh, now ready to open a line directly to Suriname, to Ghana and Nigeria. It's uh, a decision process and um, we will start in January if everything is on place. I think I, I'll, I'll be happy to be on board. In the first flight. Uh, no, I'll be so happy to be in that first flight because I, I, I spoke to this beautiful lady sitting right next to me. Uh, when I came here, I realized that when I speak to people, they have so much love for Africa, but th they've never been. So I decided to sponsor myself. I decided to sponsor a couple of Maroon people just to give them first experience of being in Ghana. So if there's going to be a first flight to Africa, Ghana for the first time, I would love to put the sponsor two people from here to be on that flight to be in Africa for the first time. So um, I think this is happening because I posted a few videos online and Africans can't believe it. It is the first time even seeing that there's a country called Suriname and there are Africans living in there because I was in the interior yesterday. Yesterday? Yes, I came yesterday from the interior. It, it, oh, really? And everything there looks like home. See, this. Ha. Can we just pound some fufu here? Y yes, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where you cook. Cook it with firewood. With firewood. Yeah. And um, up there you can put your wild meat. Exactly. Yes. To get the smoke so that it can stay longer. Mm. Yes. For the use. Uh, but before those things, mm. with, the, with the iron, we used to make it out of uh, clay. <laughs> yes. We, uh, we call it makuku. So, in Ghana, yes, we still use the clay. Okay. So we use the clay. So, like let's say, we go like this. The clay, yes. one here, one here, a tree, three, yes, and then you put your food, yes, like the this. same, the same we used it, we used it there for. It's like everything we do in Africa, exactly the same thing they do in there. Yeah. So um, I think it's a beautiful thing that is happening at the moment. 
you know, we just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's happening, it's a revolution. But uh, have, you, have, you, have you been to Africa? No, never. <laughs> so I, I guess you should be the first one that I took to Africa then. Yes, I for, for that I try to open the line so that we, we not have to go to Holland and to go, we go directly from there. Um, so, personally, I want to thank you because, I mean, coming to a new country and getting the opportunity to speak to the vice president, uh, I don't think I'm going to take it for granted. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm very happy to, to meet you. It is an honor to meet you. Wow. Young boy like you want to know about the diaspora. Uh, family we have, we have here. It's a great opportunity to do that. And I'm, I'm visiting your interior tomorrow. No, tomorrow if you want. Um, where I was, the, this, um, a chief of the village is, um, is uh, died. So we have a lot of people there. No, I think and I would love to. If you want to come, I can uh, fix the helicopter for you. But it was only three percent, not no more. No worries, we can come. We can. We and really want to. can stay twenty minutes, talk with the, the chief of the village, talk with the people, and then you go back. Come back. That's it. If you want, I think I can no, fix no, I really want to. I really want to do that. Okay. Really Tomorrow do when um, let them call the yeah. pilot. Maybe tell me what time. Yo, I, I just met the vice president and trust me, man, he's the coolest vice president I've ever met. You know, I, I felt like I was talking to my fellow vlogger, man. He's like, he's so cool, man. Like, initially, I was a bit nervous, but the kind of vibe that he gave me, I was like, wow. And I'm a good special student now, but I call Professor President, and we have one African roots. Yeah, I'm a young interpreter. And uh, see you. Um, he also booked us an helicopter ride to see uh, another maroon village, so we'll be heading there tomorrow. We are not giving up on this job anytime soon, man. There are people who understand it, and we are here for it. Traveling from one country to another is my hobby, but flying can be extremely expensive sometimes. And that is why I appreciate my audience so much for supporting my travels through AfriX. I've not received money from you because you know nothing about AfriX. So I'm here to educate you so that you send that money to me or your loved ones living back in Africa. What is AfriX? AfriX is a mobile money transfer app that allows users to send and receive money to and from Africa. It's currently available in Ethiopia, Ghana, Kenya, Ivory Coast, Uganda, Cameroon, Haiti, UK, Canada, and the USA. It's fast, reliable, and no charges. Download AfriX today. The link is in the description to send money to your loved ones. If I am one of them, please, I'll be waiting for that alert. Today is another day. Another beautiful day that the Lord has made. And yeah, we're still in Suriname. I met the VP yesterday and he asked me if I would gladly come with him to a funeral. And as a guy from Ghana, whenever we are going for funerals, we just have to put on black. So men in black and we're ready for the funeral. But hey, we're using a helicopter for the funeral, man. Like how? This is going to be my first time being on a helicopter just for going for a funeral. I mean, I, I use helicopters, but not going for funerals. So I'm breaking another virginity today. I think I'm definitely going to have a great time in Suriname, man.
all are wondering where is the vice president. The vice president went ahead of us, so we are on our way to go meet the vice president, pick him up, and we'll go for the food. They say Suriname is the most forested country in the whole world. If you are driving within the country, you might not appreciate it until you ride on top of the country. But always make sure you do it in a plane or helicopter because you would definitely appreciate the beauty of Suriname from above. You know, when certain things like this happens, I feel like I've made it to life for a whole vice president of the country waiting patiently for Maya to arrive. Man, that means a lot to me, man. Come on, you know, you gotta like this video for us to appreciate the vice president of Suriname for showing me this massive love. I'm at the cameraman friend there. How are you? Welcome to Bravo Camp. This Thank is you. Bravo Camp. This is a camp of Mr. Brunswick. And I was happy to see my own sister from the Maroon Village as a member of Parliament of Surrey. So we came to pick up the VP. Just join us. It's going to be in the same by plane or by boat because it's so far away from the city and since we didn't want to waste so much time we had to go with the helicopter We finally arrived in the village where the funeral will be taking place and it was really exciting and heartwarming to see the men and the women of the village coming to receive us. When I arrived in this village, the surroundings, the people, the way of life is exactly the same thing that we do in my country. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, 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 I'm here. Yeah. 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 Nice to meet you. I think this is the village he's from and uh, he came he brought us to his village. So yeah, we're here to see what's gonna happen. Uh, I still don't know what's happening but let's see how it goes. Huh? It's my brother. It's my internet brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's my internet brother. He knows me. Because he said, village boy, I'm like, how? <laughs> Let me say hello. <laughs> you know me? Yeah, I clip it, Joe. Wow. He, he make an uh, interview with me. I was in Ghana last, uh, like uh, two, uh, two months ago. Hello. Two months ago? Yeah. With who? Alone, you know. And how was Ghana? You know, Ghana is nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with my father. My father was so, uh, stronger. Oh. Yeah. Bien. Uh, Patifambi Kayanengi. 
Wadamaya. Wadamaya. Yeah. popular man for Africa. It was a great honor to be in the presence of all these elders in this village. And the vice president introduced me and I had to give my one and only speech to the elders all the way from the motherland. It's really amazing to see my fellow brothers and sisters from Suriname. I know this is not the right time because we are all mourning, but I, I just want you all to know that everyone from Ghana and Africa in general are mourning with you all. We are one people. If we go to Ghana right now, unless you speak before, somebody will notice that you are not from Ghana. And it's really amazing to see you all once again. And it's a pleasure meeting you all. The only reason why I'm here is because my people from Africa told me that they have brothers and sisters living here, but they have no idea about it. So I'm here to introduce you all to my fellow brothers and sisters in Africa. And next time you see me, you will never see me alone, but you see me with a lot of people from Ghana coming to celebrate with you all. <laughs> I want to say thank you and thanks for welcoming me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's your one again. Yes. Yeah, man. That was hard. I tried. Oh, wow. They will ask you to stand up. And uh, a lady will be hanging with a uh, nice clue. Ah, thank you. Yeah, that's a yeah, more What do I do? What do you go? Put your hand. Oh, yes. Okay. Like that. <laughs> thank you. Yes, man. Thank okay. You. <laughs> yeah, well, you want plus no? Uh, then that's you, Maya. Hey. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and you see the speakers behind me in, in Ghana. Yeah. When somebody dies in Ghana, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah we have the same speakers who play for three days before we bury the person. Yeah. Here, how many days will it take? That's for normal people. We take three days. Three days. Sometimes five days. Okay. But this head captain, I take already one month and. One more and seven days. It's gonna be in the coffin for yeah. It's gonna be in there for that long. Yeah, yeah. They they put a special uh, oh. uh, comfort. Mm. They, they, mm. they stay like that. Mm. So this Saturday, that's when they're gonna. Yeah, Saturday Saturdays we go to bring him. Okay. That's one more and seven days. It's exactly the same way in Ghana. You see how like the women are always sitting under a tent to cook. It's nice. Oh, it's taking oil from the granites. That's the same thing. Wow. Hello. Oh. They cook the same thing, like we also cook for funerals. So like you can never take an African out of Africa just like that. Hey. Hey. <laughs> ah. Yeah, Maba, Maba. Okay. Uh huh. I'm not Enjoy. Oh my goodness. You know, so that like the, the language she's speaking is different from the Saramaka language, but this one too, they made their own language, you know. And uh, it's. Ooh. To Christ. Yeah. Amo Amo. 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 Amo.
Check one, check one. Just, I don't know how this one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's okay. I have to eat something here. Oh, rice. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. It's too much. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do you eat with your hands? Hands, right? Water, water. Water, water. What, what, what? Ah. Uh, then we eat with our hands. This one, yeah. The same thing. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Wow. It is so good. It feels so much at home. I'm sure she's wondering, how did I do it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. I'm gonna try. And they use coconut oil to cook the rice, so you could taste the coconut oil, and it tastes so good. You know, funeral rice is actually the best rice you'll ever get. So it's the same thing here. You don't come out, eat everything. Man. Mm. You're wondering how did I do it? Hmm? Ah. You want to take a I, I, mm, I don't. This one? It's finished. It's, it's, it's finished, you know. <laughs> Thank you. I have to say thank you. I have to say thank you. Grand Tani. Grand Tani. Ah, see, this is making. We make it the same way. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, when you finish cooking and then we finish it, you just put it in your <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, I wish I had more time here because I feel like they're so cool. And uh, you know how your mommies always want to make sure you're okay. That's how I feel in here. Because they're making sure you have the food to eat and you feel good. But yeah, it's unfortunately, we just came to say hello and greet the family before Saturday, uh, which the main funeral will be happening. So, yeah. yeah. Our helicopter ride is still here waiting for us. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Atu. 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 Thank you.
We go. Oh, from this side. I hope you all enjoyed this amazing episode and there is more videos coming all the way from Suriname. So please like this video and subscribe to be part of 1.5 million people. Have you subscribed yet? Please do to support us. Thank you.